Okay, so we can check if a variable meets some kind of condition. We can check if two conditions are met, so a equals one and b equals two. And we can even say a equals one or b equals two. We're happy, we're happy for the whole condition to be considered true if one of those values, at least one of those values, evaluates to true, right? But what if you want to use both? What if you want to say, I need these two things to be true or this one thing to be true, okay? Well, if we, if we change this first or here on line 12 to be and, right? Run task equals equals true and B0 element zero equals equals true or A equals equals one. Now, all of those things are true. So the whole thing will evaluate to true because they're all true. But what happens if A, what happens if run task, sorry, equals false? right it still runs because even though this section here fails or the or means that well actually a does equal one so it's either that's true or that's true so if we make that 11 will it run the answer is no it won't run it'll skip the task because now both sides of this or statement are, are false, so the whole statement is false. But I find it really unreadable in that format. It's very, very hard to know how that's gonna pan out. So what you can actually do is you can use paran paran uh, parenthesis like that. So you can put brackets around the statements. You actually only need to do that in that case, but in the case of it being readable, you can do that. Now that makes it much, much easier to read, in my opinion, because now we're saying, let's evaluate this inside of here, where we're saying this side of the AND statement has to be true, and because it's an AND statement, this side of the AND statement has to be true. So if that entire block, okay, evaluates, and in its current form, it evaluates to true, or this side evaluates to true, then the whole statement equals true, okay? That makes sense. So what we can do over here inside this bracket, we can do and b0 equals equals two. So we can say here that b0 must always be true in both cases, but it can either be it can even be the simple case that a has to equal one or run task has to equal true, but b zero always must be two. So if we change, if we run that now, here's what we'll get. We'll get hello friend because it all evaluates absolutely fine. If I turn run task to false, okay, it'll still run because a equals one, this side is now evaluating to false because that's false. But over here, a equals one and b equals two, so it still executes, okay? But if we change a to equal 11, will it execute? Well, both sides now evaluate to false, so no, okay? So what happens if we change b to 22? It'll fail in both cases. So even if run task equals true, okay, and a equals equals one, so this side evaluates to true and this side evaluates to true, this fails on both sides of the or statement. So it will indeed fail to, to, to evaluate to true at all. So this becomes the central point at which if this value changes, then the whole thing will always fail. Okay, so that's how we can combine the AND and the OR statement together to create much more complex conditionals within our WHEN statement.